In today's video, we're going to show you how to use Divi's new background masks and patterns to design a hero section. Here's a quick look at the design we'll build in this tutorial. You can download today's layout for free by clicking the link in the video description. From our blank Divi page, let's go ahead and create a left heavy two column row. In the left column, we're going to add a text module for your main heading, a text module for your subheading text, and a button module for your button. So there we go. If you want to know the specific design settings for these, feel free to download the layout and check for yourself. Today, we're focusing on the background design. So in order for our background design to be big and beautiful, we need to add some vertical height to the section. An easy way to do that is to add padding to the top end to the bottom of the section. Open up the section settings, go to design and spacing. For desktop, our padding is going to be 20 VW top and 20 VW for bottom. Now hover over padding and press the responsive icon and switch to tablet. We're going to do 8 VW for top and 48 VW for bottom. Now press on phone. We're going to do 8 VW for top and for bottom, we're going to do 70 VW. So still inside of our section settings, press background under content and press the image tab and add your background image. For this layout, our focus is the right side of the image. So make sure you keep that in mind when selecting an image. In Divi, you can easily add a color gradient over the background image. So let's go ahead and select background gradient and press the plus icon. The left gradient color is going to be 3E22FF. The right gradient color is going to just be transparent. And this option down here, place gradient above background image is going to be yes. Now let's switch over to background pattern. There's a bunch to choose from, but we're going to do this one near the bottom right called Tufted. Now let's switch over to background mask. Again, there are a lot of cool ones and you can mess around with this, but we're going to go with honeycomb. The mask color is going to be white and our mask size is going to be cover. Since we're using a background mask, most of our background image is being hidden. So we may need to adjust the position of the background image so that we can reveal a particular section of the image through the open portion of the mask. To do this, we can use the background image position and offset options to nudge the background image in the right spot. In this example, we are going to make sure the bottom right of the image is most visible and we'll move it over to the right a bit just to show more of the buildings. So here under background image, we're going to choose background image position and choose bottom right. Now for horizontal offset, we're going to make that negative four VW. One way to get creative with all of these background elements is to add a blend mode. Blend modes can be added to any of the background options and they can be used to blend multiple background layers together in creative ways. For this example, we are going to blend the background image with the gradient color. To do this, I'm in the background image tab right now and I'm going to select the blend mode here at the bottom and change it to multiply. Although this looks great, it's important to make sure the background mask design looks great on mobile devices as well. Thankfully, the built-in options make this process easy. First up, let's do tablet. So hover over background, select the responsive icon and press tablet. Now under background mask, scroll down and we're going to flip it horizontally and vertically and rotate it. And we're going to change the aspect ratio to square. Switch over to phone now and scroll back down again, horizontal vertical flip. We're also going to rotate it. And this time our aspect ratio is going to be portrait. And this is our final result. It looks great. If you want to learn how to create the dark mode version of this, check out the full blog post linked in the video description. And if you want more designs like this, then check out the other blog posts linked in our video description that includes 12 free background mask and pattern designs for Divi. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.